Hey guys, I'm Chloe. Today's video is going to be my 2021 planner setup video. It's kind of like a mixture between a planner slash bullet journal. I guess I use some elements of bullet journaling such as the freedom to decorate it however I want, but in the form of a planner, I am just too lazy to create layouts and weekly spreads from scratch so I just use the layout that I have in my planner. The planner that I'm using for the year 2021 is my second mansion planner so yeah if you want to see how I decorated and set up set it up how I set up my planner just keep on watching I will have all the names of everything I use in the description so yeah I hope you guys enjoy this video so I'm going to be doing a little voiceover so I hope you guys don't mind that but this is the planner that I'm using for the year 2021 it is a similar planner from my 2020 planner it is from second mansion and it just has a similar pvc cover but the new one just has this red border on the outside which i think is cute it has a cherry cover which i like and the inside is pretty much the same as the one from the previous year you get this page where you could document each day of the year but these boxes are so small so i don't really want to use that i will cover it later as you will see later on then you get this monthly layout for each month and also a weekly layout for all the weeks of that month and this pretty much repeats itself and this planner also includes extra inserts so there's one where you could record a list whether it's grocery or whatever and then you get another insert that has these gridded boxes and then at the end you get a bunch of decorative inserts like these i have some extras from my other planner that i didn't use so i will be using that in this planner to decorate it a bit more and just fill up the planner how I want to fill it up and yeah at the end you also get a page where you can write your details in case you lose your planner and it just has a, another back cover with the same cherry cover as the front so yeah without further ado let's just get started with the actual decorating of the planner so with this planner I wanted to decorate the front so I'm attaching a bunch of keychains so I have one that's from iBentoy and then another keychain that I got from Daiso I also decided to include this polko of kino from pentagon and i just decorated it with a bunch of stickers i also just punched some holes into the polaroid polko picture so it could rest at the front of the planner and i just like how all the reds and pinks go well together i just love these colors if you don't already know i just love these colors so yeah so these are the spreads or the pages in the planner that i just will not use so i decided to just stick a page over it to cover it and make my own insert so i decided to create a future log and also a year at a glance i created a year at a glance in my previous planner and although it's not something you always go back to it's just nice to have to just you know start off the planner it's like a good start to the planner in my opinion so i just like to put it i use a decorative insert from my previous planner and i just stuck it to one of the yearly inserts that was provided in the planner and then i started decorating with these washi borders because i love washi borders i think putting borders on spreads just make it more cohesive and more complete in my opinion because when you don't have borders it kind of just leaves the spread empty on the edges i just like decorating my things in a crazy way i just want everything to be decorated so i wrote 2021 on the year at a glance and just wrote year at a glance using a white gel pen i think the white gel pen looks really good on this decorative insert because of the colored pages And then I added these calendar monthly setups for each month. I did this off camera because it just took way too long. I never want to write a number ever again. I just wrote all of these and it just drained me so much. So yeah, the things you do but I think it looks really nice. I then topped it off with the name of the month on top of each calendar layout with a white pen. And I just think this is a really cute spread. I just love the white with the colored paper in the background. Like it just looks so good. I 
I added some little stickers to complete the spread and that's pretty much it for my year at a glance. So now we move on to my future log and this one's a little bit boring but I'm excited for this one because I didn't have a future log in my past planner. A future log just helps you document things that might happen in the future. So if you are on the month of January but you find out that something's going to happen like an event or an appointment or an assignment's going to be due in like May, you could write it in your future log just so you know in advance that that's going to happen just in case you don't have your month set up already for for example may you could just skim back or go back to your future log and see what am i expecting for this month so i did three pages with future logs and i just created four boxes for each month you'll see first i'm just writing the lettering in the top i just wanted to make it look a bit more fancy and decorative so i did a little bit of calligraphy using some of my brush pens and gel pens and i really like how it turned out i missed doing this i used to do these future logs in my bullet journal and i didn't think to add it into my planner last year so now i'm going to be doing it for this year and i think it's going to be really helpful because I could just flip back into my future log if I'm setting up a month and I could see what I'm going to be expecting for that month. So I'm just writing the names of the months in these four boxes. These are the inserts that were in my previous planner. So I'm not letting it go to waste. I'm putting them into good use. And then here I am creating these boxes where I will write down all the things that might happen. Also, I'm using this ruler that I got from the previous planner. And, and that's because I just didn't use it last time. So I'm now putting it into use. And I'm probably going to attach it into my planner now because it has the little holes that you could wrap around the rings of the planner and it's cute it matches the entire vibe because the planner that i have right now is a pink theme or pink and red theme but yeah here i'm just writing all the months of the year and just completing the boxes as you can see I did do some mistakes with the boxes so in order to clean it up a little and make it look nicer I just use a white gel pen to clean up the lines and that is a little hack or tip if you don't already know you could use white out or you could even use a white gel pen. Here I kind of regret doing this but I added a little calendar again for the future log and I think for me it just didn't look as good as I wanted it to look because the boxes for these inserts were super small so I think I'm going to be doing it again later on like replacing it. Just doing it the same way as how I did it for the year at a glance I'll just stick in some boxes there as a calendar and yeah under each calendar I'm just gonna write down little events or things that I need to remember for that month. So here I'm just putting it back into my planner, seeing how everything looks. And now I decided to add some extra inserts just to spice it up a little bit, make my planner kind of like a bullet journal, but it's not really a bullet journal because it's not entirely from scratch. I am just adding some inserts for myself. So I'm creating a goals insert where I write all my goals for the year and also a wish list insert because there's nothing wrong with treating yourself. So yeah, I'm going to be writing things that I want in this list throughout the year and let's see if I'll even obtain it. Just something a little bit fun to make the planner a bit more enjoyable to have instead of it just, you know, organizing your life. Just adding a little bit of spice, you know. So 
so now I'm adding the little inserts into my planner and I actually decided to add a little key for my future log. So I used to do this in my bullet journal and it's basically a color code situation where I document different things based off a color. So pink could mean school or assignments and then yellow could mean events and then green could mean birthdays and I will just circle that in the little calendar boxes that I drew on the future log and then it will document what that date represents so if I colored 12 of January in yellow that means that it is a birthday or if I colored the 15th of February in blue then it is an assignment or an assignment is due that day I don't know if it's coming off a bit confusing but for me it works and it has worked for me when I was bullet journaling so I decided to do it again for my planner. So that is the inside of my planner and I decided to just finish it off with some stickers on the outside of the planner. These are removable stickers so they won't stain the PVC hopefully but yeah that's pretty much it. And now here is me just showing you what I did. So yeah as you can see there's stickers at the front. When you open it up you see these little keychains that I added from Daiso and iBentoy. I will leave all the names in the description just in case. I also added this little polko of Kino. I think it's a really good element. It just personalizes it a bit more. I also added this ruler that came with the other planner from last year and I just put it in this one just to add more decoration. Then the first page is the year at a glance. I really like the year at a glance. I think it looks really neat and I just love how it looks. There's also my goals insert which I got the memo sheet from a memo pad that I own. This wish list. Also this key that I added for the color code thing for my future log. I feel like it will make more sense later on in the year but yeah these are my future logs i added two keys so two color code inserts and yeah that's pretty much it for this planner it's pretty simple so far but i hope that as the year goes on that i can make a lot more changes and, and add more creative elements into my planner i don't really have the time to journal a lot so my planner is something i use often and something i express creativity in so i'm excited to use this for the year and just excited to organize my life because that's just how I like to live and yeah I hope you guys like how my planner turned out so that brings me to the end of this video I hope you guys enjoyed my little process of how I set up my planner I had a lot of fun decorating it actually took me a lot longer than I thought it would take I've been doing this for a few hours now so yeah I'm really happy with how it turned out and I hope you guys liked it as well let me know what you think down below in the comments and yeah that's pretty much it I I hope you guys liked it thank you so much for watching i hope you have a good day please take care of yourselves and i'll just see you later Bye bye